Hey everybody, this is not a screen check and you will not believe, okay, now my mind is going, what? Okay, the promise, the president has promised to veto anything, oh, what was it? Okay, so now he's going to make what he says, wait, what? If they, it's they, going to be a reality. Any, any legislation that makes reality out of this fabrication that you can keep your insurance if you want like it, <clears throat> it, it, he's going to veto it. Oh, okay. See, see, while we're sitting there, I'm going, what's going on? Yeah. So anyway, meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I, I'm going to use Leo Bob. You're going to use Leo Bob. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they're all talking, Juan Williams and other, about the masterful stroke of genius, the President of the United States outmaneuvered the Republicans on, uh, on the health care and that uh, this was, that, what was it, one guy said this is why they consider he's one of America's greatest presidents and deserves his place on Mount Rushmore and they, all, what is it, they also said that, uh, that, I love this, Republicans should apologize to the president because he has proved that they were wrong and he was right. Uh, let's see, health care is a disaster. There's not, no one is signing up for it. They'd rather pay the penalties. Young people have said, F you. And he's lying about everything. The day they caught the guy again in another life. See, three and months ago. Three months before they, they put the thing on. I mean, they basically said that, uh, that, that you know, Bacchus said it's a train wreck ready for happening, Obamacare. The people that were working on the website said, this thing is an airplane ready to crash, and when the first instant anyone comes on, it's going to go down. And it went down after very few people. So we also, we also said this morning, they're really trying to figure out how they got 27 million viewers on a website that was only up a couple of days a week. I mean, they, think they said, <laughs> and the people couldn't even get on to register. How do you get so many viewers? They don't know how many. I mean, first of all, I think what they said, Google Analytics said there was like, at most, in six weeks, one million people tried to get on. That's not 27 million people, you know, logged on to it. And Democrats are, oh, demanding apologies from Republicans over Obamacare. Yeah, Nancy Pelosi just a few minutes ago demanded that they pull this bill that's anti-American, that hurts the uninsured, and that the Republicans get on their knees and apologize to the president because he had proved that everything he said about health care was right. The insurance companies couldn't be trusted, that the people... Oh uh, my uh, gosh, look how they're turning it around. But here's Flea Obama. Flea Obama said they were trying to insure 30 million people. Uh, there are now 47 million uninsured because of Obamacare, and by the time they get done, they expect to be another 60 to 70 million people that are going to lose their insurance. And his website, oh, what if Leo Obama said, it's only designed to do 27,000 people a day. They have to do 180,000 people a day just to ca catch up. And, it, oh and that, if it's only, okay, they could only do 27,000 a day. They need 180,000 a day to catch up. That's what even Obama can't count without his shoes on, but still, that is considerably more than the system is capable of handling in a week. Yeah. Yeah. And main Syrian rebel groups declare opposition to Geneva peace talks. Well, yeah, because they're um, basically what Obama is doing is sending the Syrian people down the toilet like he does Americans. And the, the whole Middle East is pissed off at this guy. How dare you say that I'm not doing this? How dare you threaten to put more sanctions on people? How dare? I mean, they, 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 okay, here's a good one. They said that Kerry has done so much lying for the president that his nose is now bigger than his chin. Mm -hmm. And Hawaii judge refuses to block new same-sex marriage law. Oh, God. So, uh, they, Hawaii may be liberal politically. It is, so, it is, it is conservative uh, socially, and they're basically putting all those Hawaiians who are very big Christians on the notice that F you people, we're going to have gay marriages even though you forbid gay marriage in the Hawaiian religion, which means what? now you're going to have to allow gays to get married because our country demands it. That's going to... What? They're already unhappy. They're basically... One of the communities has said 
they will not allow gay marriages to be conducted in their community and they don't have to because we're all, it's a native Hawaiian community. Come on. And Bob is at war with you. Okay, here's what the statistics, United Nations said there are about 7 million gay people in the world. Mm -hmm. If there are 7 million gay people in the world, how could we have, need so many laws so that gay people can get married? Because there aren't 7, that's the whole world. Those are the ones that are allowed to live, basically, in, in, in the Middle East, they kill them. And in China, they kill them, so. And Boeing Malls, sites for a new plane after the union rejection. Yep. They're going to move their facilities out of the state of Washington because of union problems. Isn't that brilliant, isn't it? They, mm -hmm. they said, well, the President of the United States has told South Carolina, you can't have the Boeing plant there because it's not union and we're only going to allow it. So they've got court orders basically stopping the President of the United States and his people. And I would guess that what happens is Boeing is going to take their plant to, to uh, they're going to shut down the plant in Washington, D.C. And they can do it now because the union strike will make it impossible to deliver planes. So therefore, you shut. My father, during World War II, was supposed to go to work. Um, and my father was an engineer, an engine engineer, and he was supposed to go to work on designing engines for brand new military um, craft. And they decided to go on a strike. This is the week after people returned in force from World War II. Right. The union decided to strike the shipyard. What? The gentleman that owned the shipyard apologized to the people that he'd hired from the military, but he said the union workers that were all cowards and refused to go off to war, and they just were profiting off of all of you guys getting killed. Uh, what, what I don't have, so I'm shutting the plant down. You've all lost your job because of the unions. Mm -hmm. The guy just simply folded his business and went home because he made a couple of nickels building naval craft in World War II. Ah, and First World Trade Center Tower opened 12 years after 9-11. I, I, I know it opened and they basically had to put a tower on top of it, 200 and some foot, to make it the tallest building in the, in the what? world. What? It's, it's, they put a 220 foot tower on the top of the building so that they could make it the tallest building in the United States. Oh. I know. Finally, 12 years? Yeah, yeah. it took too long. With, okay, here's the way it is. Unions and bureaucracy prevent something from being put up that should have been done in a couple of years. Yeah, that should have been done a long time ago. And FDA says new cholesterol drugs may not need outcome studies. Oh, what? because it's being produced by a company that supports the president. You don't need outcome policies. studies? You don't need to do studies if the president approves of it. Just like your health, you can keep your health care unless the president decides that he doesn't like your health care program and then you can't keep your health care. Now he decided that some of his personal friends don't need to do the research that other people have to. Mm -hmm. And the promise of fusion is real if it's properly funded. Um, I know a guy that is a fusion expert, and he said that uh, he had a debate with, uh, with Jane Fonda years ago. He said it's, it's not practical, it's never going to be practical, because there's no way of harnessing the energy, and we don't have the infrastructure to handle it if you could ha okay. harness it. Mm. And McDonald's eyes bit bigger share of the coffee market. Oh, this is the following uh, earlier in the week when they said McDonald's was being condemned. They said the customers were doing nothing but complaining about the fact that they were serving coffee and the coffee was taking, uh, you know, they were doing too much effort on the coffee uh, and therefore the business was falling. Well, now they're the second largest dealer of coffee in the world and growing. Mm -hmm. And Google's Nexus 5 may finally launch on Friday. I think the next, uh, I know, but it basically a lot of things that Google does are way behind. Google is very good at what it does, but it's very crappy at turning out hardware. Mm -hmm. And Libya seeks to make its laws more Islamic. I know, and after they promised Obama that wasn't going to happen, now they're putting in Sharia law. Mm -hmm. And hurricane force, a gust about UK, Europe, and 13 are dead. Oh, I know, I mean, uh, my place in England just had got a brand new roof on it before they started all of the, before the bad weather started. And the tarps that have been on the roof for years because they couldn't afford to put the new roof on it are going to be there for God knows how long because when winter starts, they, they can't risk the, the damaging of the new roof. So you're looking at a new roof. I mean, and it's a thatch roof, so it stinks like you would not believe it. Oh my gosh, it's probably going to stink all winter. Yeah. Though. 
Oh my gosh. And a Monty Bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, this one. You know, T the Obama says, if it sounds foolish to you, imagine how foolish it's going to sound to anyone you say it to.